Treasures Thrift Shop. My name's Ashley, and I'm the general manager here. You know, we just got a big donation, and I could really use some help sorting it out. Would you mind helping? Come on. You know, a lot of the things that people bring into the shop aren't really worth that much. But then sometimes you find something that's really valuable. And then sometimes the things that you think won't sell at all end up being your best sellers. You know, working at a thrift shop has really got me thinking lately about the things that are valuable and that are worth keeping around. And it reminds me of a story from the Bible that I would love for you to hear today. The story you're going to hear today is about some parables that Jesus told the people. A parable is a story that Jesus uses to explain the kingdom of God. And as you listen to the Bible story today, I want you to think about this big picture question. How does God care for his creation? God is a good God and he loves us very much and he cares for all of his creation. So as you hear this question, you can think, how does God care for his creation? God loves and rules over his creation according to his perfect plan. Hey everyone, I'm Megan and I'm Jesse. What's our Bible story about today, Megan? Today is about parables about God's kingdom. Pair of bulls? Like the cows with horns? <laughs> no, not a pair of bulls. Parables. Parables are stories that Jesus told to teach people something about God's kingdom. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> yes, Jesus told stories about things people knew and understood to help them understand something about God's kingdom. That's a good idea. <laughs> yep, listen to the story. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the sea. Many people came to hear him teach. So Jesus got into a boat and sat down. The people stood on the shore and Jesus told them parables, or stories, to teach them about God's kingdom. Jesus' disciples asked him, Why do you tell stories to teach? Jesus said, Not everyone will understand what is true about God's kingdom. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah said, Some people look, but they do not see. Hmm. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Oh. Through Jesus, Isaiah's words came true. Jesus told the disciples, You are blessed because you understand. Then Jesus told a parable. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest seed, but it grows taller than the garden plants. The seed becomes a tree, and the birds build nests in its branches. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like leaven, or yeast, that a woman mixed into flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. Jesus told another parable. God's kingdom is like a treasure buried in a field. A man found the treasure and buried it again. Then he joyfully sold everything he had and bought that field. Then Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a man looking for beautiful pearls. When he found one very valuable pearl, he sold wow. everything he had and bought it. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, he left that place oh. and went to his hometown. God's kingdom is growing in the world. His kingdom is valuable and worth giving everything for. While we wait for Jesus to come back and set up his kingdom, we obey him and tell others about King Jesus, who rescues sinners. The kingdom of God is growing in this world, and the kingdom is valuable, and it is worth giving everything for. Our job as believers is to tell other people about Jesus and how he rescues sinners and his kingdom. Our key passage today is from Colossians 1, 13 and 14, and this is what it says. Before we trust in Jesus, all of us are trapped in darkness, spiritual darkness. 
We cannot see the truth of God and we cannot obey him. When God saves us, we become citizens of Jesus' kingdom, which is a kingdom of light. In Christ, we can love and obey God. You guys, this is the word of God, and the word of God is absolutely true all the time. I would really encourage you to memorize this verse if you can. Thanks again for joining us at the thrift shop today. I hope you enjoyed your Bible story. Don't forget to do your activities, and I'll see you next week.